Right now in education, for everybody it's hard. My name is Colleen Herman. I am a public school librarian. We're very excited because today we are going to have the unveiling of our new library from Target. In addition to that, the students are going to be receiving some free books from Target so that they can start building their own home libraries. The impact is just going to really show them that all these other people care about them and that all these other people want them to be successful. Target is proud to sponsor tonight's Education Award. Please welcome from Target, the Vice President of Community Relations, Anthony Heredia. Thank you, and good evening to everyone. On behalf of Target, it's an incredible honor to be part of a night with so many amazing Latino leaders, including our good partner, Antonio Tejerena, and everyone at the Hispanic Heritage Foundation. The spot you just watched is about real Target team members doing extraordinary things in local communities and schools across the country. We created that commercial in English and Spanish to celebrate and raise awareness about the importance of reading and education. At Target, we believe every child deserves a quality education, regardless of race or socioeconomic status. And we believe that education, from reading to science to math, is a pathway to economic opportunity. While our nation's graduation rate is rising, there remains an achievement gap that puts students of color at a disadvantage. Together, we can do more than strive to beat these odds. We can change these odds. That's why Target has committed $1 billion to education, an investment we'll reach by the end of next year. Thank you. It's also why we continue to give 5% of our profit to the community, which is more than $4 million every week. The path to high school graduation is not easy, and getting into college and getting through college continues to be a dream for many young kids, but it doesn't have to be just a dream. As a nation of caring, proud, and engaged citizens, we need to listen to our youth. We need to amplify their voices and make them part of the solution, and be there for them as caring adults and mentors. If we believe in them, they'll believe in themselves and realize they can achieve anything they put their minds to. It is in this same spirit that we are pleased to honor tonight's education nominees, the 2004 Carl Hayden High School Robotics Team. And as you'll soon discover, their inspiring story of triumph is living proof that with education, each and every one of us can achieve extraordinary accomplishments. Congratulations to them and all of this evening's awardees. Thank you. Our next presenters are formidable women. One is the president and CEO of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute. The other is a former Olympic athlete, a lawyer, and an award-winning documentary filmmaker who wrote, directed, and executive produced Underwater Dreams, a documentary about our next honorees. Here are Esther Aguilera and Mary Mazzio. Good evening. Ten years ago, a bright group of undocumented students from Carl Hayden Community High School combined their amazing talents and, against all odds, made history. The story of Christian Arcega, Lorenzo Santillan, Luis Aranda, and Oscar Vasquez moved me in particular for many, many reasons mainly because it speaks to the talent and capability in places in zi and zip codes that America often overlooks. Yet these courageous boys dared to dream, and in the process, they all, every one of them, defied expectations. Their achievements not only inspired Mary's documentary and the soon-to-be-released film Spare Parts, starring George Lopez, 
Marisa Tomei, Jamie Lee Curtis. It has also encouraged hundreds to embark on science, technology, and engineering careers. And here is why. They were a ragtag robotics team. Four teenage boys from Phoenix, Arizona, decided to build an underwater robot. They took their robot and headed west to a sophisticated underwater robotics competition. When we arrived at the competition, I was pretty nervous. The other robots were like pieces of underwater jewelry. We looked like the carnival had arrived. We were way over our head. We noticed water in the case. We're telling it to go forward and the robot's going sideways. And I'm thinking, oh my god. We were all having problems. My idea was a tampon. MacGyver would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these punks from nowhere that had no business doing what they do? You know, what is that? When they announced first place, we just all stood up. The whole room was screaming because we were the high school team. And the place erupted. People were, you know, yelling and screaming and clapping. We didn't know how to react. I, I stood up and almost got knocked down by a Christian or Lorenzo or both of them. That was my own little version of, you know, heaven. We're so excited. <laughs> I don't remember walking to the stage because, you know, I was just floating, I think. Kids at Coral Haven High School become leaders. They have a sense of social responsibility that was cultivated as being part of this team. Knowing you can't do something just because you're lacking a piece of paper is kind of devastating. What the robotics did to me is to show me, even though that I don't know where to start, I can solve the problem. We should empower as many people as we can to build great things. These boys laid a foundation. They inspired those behind them to see that possibilities could exist, to be courageous, to dream, and to fly. I want to solve the energy crisis. Make a difference in my community. Be a computer engineer. Develop the renewable energy infrastructure. The next generation of autonomous vehicles. And make them go faster. Prosthetics for kids. Discover, like, alien life. I want to be an astronomer. I think I saw the winner. Oh, yeah. As an undocumented immigrant to this country myself, I am inspired by these young, talented men. These young men prove that each person, regardless of income, cultural background, or legal status, is capable of accomplishing the extraordinary. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, this year's recipients and the stars of Underwater Dreams, the recipients of the Hispanic Heritage Award for Education, the 2004 Carl Hayden Community High School Robotics Team. I'd like to uh, thank Target and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for having us here tonight. We accept this award not on our behalf, but on the behalf of the millions of students just like us who just need a dream. <laughs> we hope that our story can inspire students just like us who are facing challenges and obstacles to succeed. Anything can be possible with education if you just give us a chance. We learn to dream, to compete, to win, to succeed, but as always, 
together. Thank you. Guys, don't forget, hashtag underwater dreams, please.